What if you could actually 3D print a black hole? Welcome to Hacker Week. So this last week we saw a black hole represented in a photograph, not like a photograph in the conventional sense, but something put together from a vast amount of data by a lot of people and it's pretty cool because now we have a representation of just what a black hole would look like. What we're seeing in that picture is actually the shadow of the black hole in the accretion zone around all the hot gases that are going on um, around that gravitational field uh, from what I understand from what I've read. I am not an astrophysicist by any means but hey you know you look around on the internet and find the science articles not the uh, regular media articles and you can learn a thing or two. So anyway in Cura you can put a JPEG in there you can bring one in if you select it properly uh, and you can turn it into a 3D object and you can do that with uh, a little feature in Kira that allows you to extrude upwards a color in the picture, the light or the dark, that's all you get. And then you can do the height, you can change the dimensions of it, you can change the smoothing of the image, and you can take a JPEG file black and white usually works real easy the color one is okay as long as there's a high contrast in it bring it into Cura and it will produce a 3d model for you and that's what I did with the photo of M87 let's check it out so here we are in Cura and we can go to the file menu and select open files and if you go down here to the supported file types and choose JPEG file and there is the black hole picture we'll select that now right here is where all the fun is you can select the height I'm going to put this at 20 millimeters tall oops not 200 and then you can also do the base the width the depth everything else lighter or darker as higher I'm going to do lighter as higher. I'm going to smooth this just a little bit more than the preset. We click OK. And what it's going to do now is generate a 3D model of Black Hole M87. How's that? Pretty cool. Whoops. Let's just rotate around here and take a look at that. That's pretty neat. So now you can save this to a, a file, an STL file or you can also save it right to a G-code file on a uh, SD drive, put it on your 3D printer, and print away, which is what I did. There's the original JPEG file that I printed it from. There is the 3D printed version. It's really cool to just move down here in 3D and spin it around. 
it's a black hole visualized in 3D. This is so freaking cool. I gotta upload this to Thingiverse now. So everybody can print their own M87 black hole. Awesome. Well, that was pretty cool. And now you know you can put JPEGs in Cura and print them. So experiment with that. It's lots of fun. You can take like black and white logos and raise them in whatever way you want. The high being the light color or the dark color. Play around with stuff. It's cool. Just take like a regular photo, put it in there and, um, you know, emboss, extrude, whatever you want to call it. Turn it into a file that you can print and play around. Lots of fun. This was pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, just remember Siamese cats really do come from black holes. <laughs>